Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. It's been quite a while since I played it. It's basically been since last summer uh, since I played it and uh, I'm really excited to get back into it. I've been planning to get back into it for months now. Actually, pretty much since Dharma came out. I had a plan to start playing the next day after I bought it and then yeah, I never did. And now we even got another expansion out. I think it's the Golden Century was the last one, I think so. Yeah, I think it goes like below up down here. The Golden Century is the last one that focus over here, I think, on Spanish stuff, Castile, Aragon and stuff. So, we are going to be playing down here. Now, what is the goal of this series? I just recently watched some stuff on YouTube about uh, like Roman Empire and Carthage and the Punic Wars and stuff and said, you know what? I've never played as Tunis in uh, EO4 before. How about we play as Tunis and there's this cool achievement called Sons of Carthage which basically needs you to uh, conquer down here the Sicily, Sardinia, the Baleari uh, Islands. I've been here this summer. And uh, also Southern Coast of Spain, so over here. So if you do that as Tunis we get a cool achievement. So I said meh. Let's do it, let's do it. Now, bear with me, I haven't played in probably half a year now, and I'm, I'm rusty, so I'll have, to, I'll have to get back into the swing of things and try to remember how things work. Of course, new updates, new stuff. I've not actually played Dharma at all when it came out, so all of the new stuff that I really was excited about, all the new uh, 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 things you can enact as a nation, uh, I've not even tested it, so I don't know what it's good, what is not, so yeah, we're gonna try it out. Now, you know what, let's just jump into the game and then we can uh, talk about what we're gonna do. We're gonna go with Iron Mode so we can actually get that achievement. I did test it right now, just load it in to see how things work, so let's go with uh, Sons, Sons of Carthage, because why not? Let's load in. And yeah, I'm really excited to play. I'm using the the better map graphics mod. I don't know exactly what it's called, but you know, it, it looks cooler and nicer. That's why I'm using it. All right, so Tunis, we are over here. Uh, we have a fort in Kef up here, which I believe is mountainous. I need to remember all of my uh, UI stuff. Yeah, simple terrain is R. So we have a highlands over here. Not exactly mountains, but we have highlands. There's a wasteland over here, which also kind of helps. Otherwise, over here it's just desert and coastal desert. We have some dry lands out there. This is mostly highlands. Uh, Morocco here has the mountains. And yeah, so what would be our plan for this series? Well, since if you want to do that, probably if you look at this, I have four people hating me. Morocco as well, which is not cool. Morocco has been, well, broken apart. Now they have three vassals. That wasn't the case before. They have Marrakesh, Sus, and Tafilalt. Okay. How about Clemson? How do you feel? Like, you probably hate Morocco, right? You don't hate Morocco? That's weird. Uh, someone we want to try to get on our side would be Ottomans. They would be the balance for us uh, over here versus Spain, well, Castile, Aragon, and Portugal. That all hate me. And uh, also, first early nom noms would be these small countries. Now, we are guaranteeing the independence of Fazan. Uh, I would like to vassalize them, but there's definitely no way we can do that with the economic strength. We are guaranteeing their independence, though, which is probably a way to just not let Mamluks jump in. But in the long run, we'll probably want to go in here because. Uh, we need a way to get into the Central Africa over here and the Malian gold mines is what we would really want to go for. Now let's look at the trade. We have this Tunisian trade node over here that is not really worth basically anything. Uh, people are dragging stuff out and in, but what we really want is the Genoan trade node. Of course, it's, it's where all the gold of this world is, like the most gold ever. Now, we can't really, you know, move there and collect there, uh, because this is our main trade node, and we do have a bunch of these natural harbors. Now, that's also new for me. So, uh, coastal trade, you can, I think, upgrade these ones, right? Yeah, you can upgrade or downgrade these things, 
and whenever you capture stuff uh, they will go down to base level I believe if I remember that correctly so we do have a merchant that it collects in Safi ready they collect in Safi also this this is definitely a new trade node yeah this this I'm pretty sure this used to belong down here but I'm not now certain why do we have a merchant in Safi collecting there that's a very good question now this guy is free it would make more sense I mean we're earning something over here but um, how much are we making over here not much how many trade ships do we have we have plenty of galleys which is not exactly what we want so if you can get uh, galleys to uh, be sold that would be okay well not galleys but transport ships uh, well we might do some island warfare who knows uh, so how about you you can protect the trade over here that's kind of cool trade node in Tunis uh, so well I don't know if collecting there is really a good idea but what we can do is send a guy over here that's gonna send a train tra you know what it does actually doesn't come over here that is not good then that is not useful then how about uh, you can only collect there we can't steer there backwards because that doesn't make sense I thought maybe from Alexandria it comes here but it doesn't so uh, trade kind of crab let's see what we have over here taxation policy so we can get more national tax that would be kind of cool 15% okay uh, core creation cost goes down or we get diplomatic reputation this could be very useful early on because we could get more allies this way we'd hire diplomatic reputation also I promise we will unpause in this episode probably like at the end of it but hey uh, but we don't have any subjects so this really doesn't do much for us right now unless we go and vassalize these guys which I don't really want to I might want to peacefully vassalize Vassalize Fazan, maybe somewhere along the road, but otherwise conquering is what we want to do. Now we do have these policies over here, this is new, we can enact those. Uh, we can also adopt the title of Khalifa. A, let's see, we want to move towards legalism for technology cost, right? Yes, this of course has morale of armies, but that cost more money kind of cool I kind of like it um, yeah and this one would be last national unrest sure let's go for it Mamluk govern government oh this is cool what does this need you to do Mamluk does not exist also oh, I guess we can we can turn into Mamluks nice and Al-Andalus yeah that could be kind of cool uh, we can change to Andalusia, but we, I think, need uh, a lot more land in Spain. So, yeah, eventually, maybe. Anyway, let's uh, check things out. We don't really have the money right now to get any advisors. Our guy is... Uh, advisor cost is lower, so that could be useful. You probably want to... Oh, yeah, I'm just going to let it be for now. Our guy... Our air is crap. Totally. So this could actually be pretty good. Let's see how much money we make from taxation. Actually, most of our money is made from taxation. We might consider this. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's get some more money out of that. It's, it's a bit. It's not a lot, but it's a bit. We need to find allies. Mm. Yeah, we will need to find allies. Uh, diplomacy. Let's see. Six people would ally me. Fazan? Granada, Jerry Tugurt and Tlemcen, Beja and Luca. Oh, Luca, not yet. Uh, I think Tlemcen would make sense because while well, we want to fight them, there would also be a border between us and the Morocco. You know? I don't want to ally Granada because they are just hopeless over there. And now, one possibility would also be France if they hated any of the Spaniards, but they don't, so. Definitely not the case. Uh, Pope is not gonna ally us. Uh, we are gonna be really, really crapped out over here. We're gonna start improving relations with the Autobro. We love you, Autobro. Definitely do. 
That was a mistake. Just leave it there. We're friendly. Um, these little guys, no reason really to get them. I think, I think it would make sense to get Fazan on our side just so we have someone. We do have rivalry problems. I realize that. Autobro, who do you hate? You hate Mamluks, and Mamluks hate you. I think that might be a uh, solid idea if we got to hate the Mamluks, which are n apparently not an option. Why? Are they too big for me? They m they're probably too big for me, huh? Yeah, they're probably too big for me for me to able to rival them. Uh, I can rival Morocco back, but the problem would then be if Morocco managed to ally Ottomans first, which they do do tend to do sometimes. And that would be annoying. Now, Aragon, I hate you, Aragon. Not just the way it is. It's gonna be a problem, us being rivals with those guys. Let's see, do we have any leaders? Let's see how good our leader is. Amazing. Really do amazing, buddy. Over here now, those galleys should be able to... Uh, now, I don't exactly know where that mission is. For us to raid coasts. Because I know we can raid coasts as the Tunisians, right? Now, how do you do that? I have no idea. I've never actually tried it. <laughs> so that's something we're gonna need to find out. That's okay. Uh, still need to go through a lot of stuff over here. Need to get more rivals, possibly. Possibly. And let's see. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be going up slowly. Oh, we've never even looked at our ideas. So, our starting ideas are... Uh, Galley Combat uh, Ability, and when we have gained all the Tunisian... Uh, and May Raid Coasts, right? And when we get all of the ideas, we get Naval Force Limit Water Fire. So, we are a naval-based uh, players. So we can raid coasts. Now, how do you do that? I have no idea. Uh, we have some missions over here. We construct a Corsair fleet. Uh, Naval force them with at least 20 and have more or equal lightships than 5. That's going to be pretty easy to do. Pacify the Berbers. Own all colonized provinces in the Fazan area. Okay, so my allies now. Alright. And Ottoman diplomacy. Okay, so we either... Ally them or rival them. Sure. That's fine. Well, we'll we'll get them to be our allies, hopefully. Now, of course, we are Sunni, and we do have some Ibadi places in Jerba and Zuwara. Jerba, really? You out here? Yeah, and Zuwara over here. Those are Ibadi. And we don't like them, and uh, thusly we have higher local unrest. Now we could uh, try recruiting a general. It's not really needed right now, I don't think. And we do have Amir's, Dimi, Merchant Guilds, and Ulema. So we can play with some of these. Now, this has been changes. If you get to 100%, then there's problems. It used to be uh, 80%. Alright. Let's see what we can do. We can call for a diet. We can get some um, loyalty and influence from these guys. It would be a lot of influence, actually. Uh, I would grant them a generalship, which would make a lot more sense. And then we could demand... Oh, this would be bad. So either I call diet, which gives you up to 60. And then it will bring you down to 40 if we demand uh, military support, but we can't get a general. I think that's what we're gonna do. So let's do that. And then demand 150 military support. It's perfect. Now we can't do a generalship because that would bring you over the influence. And you should never drive under the influence or over the influence. Merchant guilds, I can get some money off of them. I could demand some stuff. I could grant them monopoly charges, get them up to 65 loyalty, and then get more Diplo support. What's that? Now, I don't know if you watched my la last series. <laughs> In last series, I completely screwed out my country a couple of times 
well not completely because I demanded too much and they were complaining constantly but we you know we reaped the rewards and we were definitely successful so there wasn't really a problem there mm, let's see we could do this one and then we can demand that we could also give them a generous donation but let's just do that there you go we got some more points and points are all that really matters over here for us now i still don't know exactly how to raid the coasts so it's problematic protect raid privateer hunt pirates explore hunt enemy fleets blockade enemy ports intercept enemy fleets that's a good question do you have a option over here somewhere like i want to raid your coast you definitely know that you can raid their coast. Anyway, uh, so we have a guy in the Ottoman court. We offered Pazan an alliance, so let's wait for a day and get that confirmed in there. So you guys are my allies now. Hmm. Now, question is, who you guys ally with? I think we might want to do uh, an alliance with you because you hate Portugal as well. And I can uh, then rival Portugal, which out of these guys are the weakest. But also not the best target, but I can ally you. So you are my border on that side. Let's speed things up a bit. Uh, don't need a royal marriage though. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Now, we... Who's going to be our last rival? Uh, don't want to rival my ally. Don't necessarily want to rival Morocco. Genoa really doesn't make sense. I could do Castile, even though that would just mean that I will not gain anything from rivaling, uh, from rival fights, which is unfortunate. Now, um, let's use one of our diplomats. You are allied with Morocco. You are allied with Morocco. What a bunch of dicks. So, Muzab, you might be the guys to build a spy network in. Yeah. So let's start that. Let's unpause and let's get our diplomat back. Now, who would we want to ally as well? Now, we want to get Ottomans, Otto Bros. Uh, what we could possibly do is... Mamluks is not in position to threaten us, huh? If you were threatened by Mamluks, this could work. Can I be threatened by any other rival of yours? Why did you go rival these guys, huh? It's really annoying. Probably I can't be threatened by any of you, these guys. I could feel threatened. Oh, okay. To my rival, I can't do. Uh, friends? I mean... Still hates you. Who else hates you? Aragon! Oh, Aragon and Castile hate each other. That's beautiful. I love that. I love that. England, how do you feel? You're probably. Anyone else hates Spain? Tunis, Aragon, England. Well, how about, you know, that rival of a rival, enemy of the enemy? How about that? I mean, there's no way we can ally with them, ever. There's just, just no way, we're way too far away, so no way to even think about it. How about we just maybe pacify the neighboring peoples? Like maybe, uh, you know, just improve relations with the Mam Mamluk bros. That's fine, okay, let's uh, wait for the month to pass and let's see what happens with the money. Uh, Fazan, chill. So we have a crisis of the Maghreb right away. To just get the crisis of the Maghreb. Uh, stability cost modifier, global trade power, institution spread lowered for the next five years. Perfect. Yeah, we got accumulation. Now let's see. We're making 0 0.55 ducats. And we're making most of that of taxation. Trade is absolute garbage. Are we still like, why do we even have a trader there? Just get that merchant out of here. It's way better, probably, to keep that guy over here. 
we bring him here, we'll probably make more money that way. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's try that, and we'll see. Now these ships over here are useless if I don't know how to do that thing. Uh, can I raid with these guys, maybe? Um, blockade hunt. No, I can't raid with these guys. I need to go check out how do you... Oh, there it is. Raid coast. A navy needs to be a sea to raid. Ah. So, basically, I just need to get you over here and I can raid this coast? Yeah. It's ready to give us... Give 44 ducats and 316 sailors. Ready? That was... Easy enough. Okay, so we can just go over here and maybe raid uh, this port. That sounds good to me. Let's go check that out. Palermo and Colliery. Okay, Colliery has been raided. How about Cesari? Cesari have you been raided? We'll go check it out. How about uh, Mallorca or Minorca and that stuff? No valid targets nearby. They are all been raided. Probably by someone else, like Clemson or something. Possibly. Oh, uh, we can raid up here. Um, for Barcelona, we could raid... Uh, our coasts have been raided by the Knights, seriously. I could raid France. I don't want to raid France, though. So, I will move down here. I want to stay chill with France, really. Alright, let's raid that. Let's go down here. Now, our uh, fleet over here is weak. I did say I should have tried to sell some of these ships. This was probably in raided. Let's go back here. Let's see if we can sell uh, some of our ships still. You guys over here, if you want to just make some money right now, I probably should go and drop the army maintenance down there. Probably not that useful to try to get professionalism right now. I don't think so, at least. We'll see. Now, how are we looking over here at my friendly boys? Yeah, you, you probably are way, way out of my reach. Now, unless we get a diplomatic reputation guy over here, which we... I don't think we can actually afford, but let's go for it. Okay, uh, this ships... Uh, let's go and uh, split them apart. Now, anyone ready to buy some cogs? Do you guys want to buy some cogs? I'd love to sell you some ships. Let's actually recall this guy. Yes, 17 days to get from the Mamlukian Empire? Come on. That's not that bad, is it? Probably. Um, so we have the government reforms, right? That's that's something I need to even look at. It's, it's something I've not played with at all. At all. At all. So something we're gonna need to check eventually but it's not really something we can do right now do you want some ships uh, I think that is the only fleet that is in range of you so how about we send these guys down here maybe are oh, you're influencing Fazan huh they're gonna probably try to vassalize them they are allied with Vamluks interesting to royal marriage they would they would steer trade to us or transfer trade power confirm cool I like that ships you coming let's see if these guys want to buy some ships I should have done that right away Let's see. Uh, nine fewer transports. You probably don't want any then. If I uh, am guessing. But we'll see. Maybe we can uh, sell them a transport. I wouldn't mind that. They would not pay for it. What? You don't have ten ducats? Autobros? Dudes, come on. 
Man, looks. why do you have these things over here? I wonder. Now, would you want a ship? They don't want transports. Would you want galleys? They want three fewer galleys. So I could sell them three galleys. Nobody wants transports, though. I doubt anyone wants transports. You guys want transports? Uh, no. Do you guys want transports? This is going to take a while. You can see. No, probably nobody wants transports, really. At least not right now. Oh, yeah. They will buy uh, one of my transports. Confirm that one. Let's go. Good job, Hungary. We did it. We sold one of our transports. Anyway. Probably can't really do more. I can still get some alliances. Luka and Beja would ally me. Uh, where exactly is Beja? Uh, show me. Beja? You're where? Where are you? Down here? Really useful. Uh, now, Loka. Who are you allied with or rival with? Hate Sienna and Ferrari. Allied with Savoy. I don't think you would be of any use. But this... I wonder why they would actually want to ally me. The neutral. I like my army strength. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, it can't hurt. I mean, it probably can, but who cares? <laughs> weak! Weak allies. Let's get them in. Shall we? Uh, what I really wanted to do is see what how much we can build. Build a flagship? Wow! That I've not seen before. That is definitely new and I love it. But it's not the time to build a flagship, but it's definitely the time to build some more trade ships. Let's go. Alright. Well, I'm gonna stop for now over here. At some point we will learn how to play this game again. It's gonna take a while, probably. You're allied with Granada. No worries. Uh, but for now, thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. Share, like, subscribe, and see more. Do magic, and I'll see you next time. Kirk out.